Neuralink put its first brain implant into a human, and the next day, Elon Musk announced a product called Telepathy, which will be a very exclusive release. Implantees will be able to control their phone and computer using their minds. It might be more like telekinesis than telepathy, but some other implants have gotten closer to real telepathy, sending thoughts directly into someone else's mind. Which psychic power you get depends on where you plug it into the brain and how you calibrate it. Neuralink is trying to restore movement in people with paralysis, so they're focused on the motor cortex, a strip of brain that controls your skeletal muscles. When you move your computer mouse, neurons in your motor cortex fire, sending signals down your spine to control your hand. Neuralink takes those signals, skips your hand and the mouse, and sends them to a computer to move the cursor. Everybody's motor cortex is different, so you have to calibrate it first. While the Neuralink reads from your brain, you imagine moving the cursor around and imagine clicking. Eventually, it figures out how you use your motor cortex and what you mean by It's not reading your inner thoughts. It doesn't read any words or concepts at all, at least not yet. It's just reading how to move the mouse or the pong paddle. It's like a telekinetic Ouija board. So Neuralink will let you type your thoughts to someone. You can't think your thoughts to them yet but some other brain implants are moving in that direction. Researchers at Stanford have decoded speech directly from the brain of a patient with ALS. No mouse or keyboard necessary. They did use wires, though. They tried recording from two different brain regions, Broca's area and the ventral premotor cortex. They couldn't decode speech movements from Broca's area, but they had better luck with the ventral premotor cortex, which is below the part of your motor cortex that moves your hands and arms. They were able to decode 68 words per minute, breaking the record of 18 words per minute set by a brain implant that read patients' handwriting. So one day, it'll be possible with this technology to think your thoughts right into your friend's earbuds, or their auditory cortex if they're wired up too. On the same day that study was published, in the same journal, another team of researchers reported 78 words per minute with similar technology. They read activity from a big patch of sensory and motor cortex. Action and perception are so intertwined in the brain that you can read motor commands pretty well from sensory cortex, too. They also use the patient's brain activity to animate facial movements on an avatar. What do you think of my artificial voice? Whether you call it telepathy or just a mouth simulator, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised if Neuralink's next big clinical trial is focused on restoring speech so they can work on their telepathy app. Elon points out that the way we interface with our phones is really inefficient. We have so much information in our brain, and there's so much more information our phone can access. But our ability to transfer that information is limited by how fast we can move our thumbs. Our thumbs are like two slow-moving meat sticks. So far, they've only been able to give your brain another wireless thumb. Pretty soon, they should be able to give it a mouth. But don't worry, full-blown mind reading is still a long way off. Even if you had a state-of-the-art brain implant and somebody wanted to read your mind, you'd still have to painstakingly imagine speaking all the thoughts you want them to read. It's going to be a lot harder to get the thoughts that are just floating around in your brain. Subscribe to I'm Curious for more brain implant breakdowns and some upcoming videos about 3D printing brain tissue and a new bioprinter that could print more brain right onto your brain. Thanks for watching.